Hello, in this video we are solving one example to find the linear convolution using circular convolution by matrix method. We know that linear convolution is used to find output of district time LTI system and the linear convolution is y of n is equal to output of district time LTI system y of n is equal to x of n input convolution with the h of n impulse response. Now let's see how we can do this linear convolution by using circular convolution. Example is perform linear convolution using circular convolution of following sequence h of n impulse response is given 1 2 3 are the samples and x of n input 1 2 2 1. So this is your x of n and this is your h of n and we want to perform linear convolution that means y of n is equal to h of n convolution with x of n. This is linear convolution but we want to achieve this linear convolution by circular convolution of these two sequence. First let us see how many samples you will get into the linear convolution. It depends upon the length of these sequences and that is n is equal to length of y of n is equal to l plus m minus 1 where l is length of this sequence that is 3 m is length of this sequence that is 4 samples so 3 plus 4 minus 1 that is 6 so whatever the samples we are getting number of samples we are getting in a y of n is 6 now to get this 6 samples or get this linear convolution by circular convolution first we have to add this the length of h of n and x of n and that length should be 6 l plus m minus 1 so this is the circular convolution y of n h of n circular convolution with x of n so first adjust the length h of n is equal to 1 2 3 we have added three zeros to make the length of h of n 6. Again x of n there are four samples we have to make the length 6 means we have to add two zeros. Like this we have added two zeros to make the length of x of n 6. Why 6? Because we want to achieve linear convolution by circular convolution of h of n and x of n. That's why first we have to adjust always length of h of n and x of n it should be L plus M minus 1. Now we can perform circular convolution by matrix method. First, circular convolution X of L minus N. That means X first we will invert or fold or reverse that is minus N and then we will add the shift L. So how many shift you are adding? First, X of minus N. We have folded the sequence X of minus N. Then L varies from 1 to n minus 1. n is now here 6 length. So 6 minus 1 means 5. So this is l is first 1. x of 1 minus n. 1 shift we have added. Then x of 2 minus n. x of 3 minus n. Then x of 4 minus n. And x of 5 minus n. Now first we will see x of minus n. Now this is circular convolution means folding operation is circular folding operation and we know how to do the circular folding operation that means this is your x of n first sample as it is and other samples we are writing in a reverse order so first sample is 1 and other samples we are writing in a reverse means 0 0 1 2 2 so we will write 0 0 1 2 2 so this is circular fold now we will add a shift. Now to add a one shift, we are shifting, we are circulating. This is the circular shift. So we are circulating in a anti-clockwise direction. Means this two will come first and other samples will get shift like this. Two will come first, then one, then zero, zero, one and two. Then again this two will come first and other samples will get shift. Two. 2, then 1, 0, 0, 1. Again this 1 will come first. 1, then this 2, 2, 1, 0, 
zero. Like this, you can add one more shift. This zero will come first, and this one, two, three, four, zero. Like this, in an anti-clockwise direction, we'll add one shift in each step. Now next is this zero. Zero, then zero, one, two, two. One. And if you add one more shift, you will get this first row. So like this, we have folded circular fold and then we have added circular shift in a each step. Now, this is your x of n. Then write h of n. h of n is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0. Here you can do matrix multiplication. So first, we have to understand this circular fold and circular shift, then H of N. Now, matrix multiplication, first row, first column, this column. This 1 into 1, 1, then this 0 get multiplied with this one, 0. Again, these three samples get multiplied with 0, that is 0. So, only 1 into 1, that is 1. Now, here, second row, this column. 2 get multiply with 1 plus 1 get multiply with 2 then this zeros get multiply with this one so 0 and this 1 2 get multiply with 0 so 0 so only these two sample get multiply with this one so 2 into 2 2 plus 1 into 2 that is 4 then this third row get multiply with this column see which samples will come this first three sample will get multiply with this first three and then this will get multiplied with 0. So it is 0. So only 2 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 2 into 3. Sorry, 1 into 3. That is 9. Then this fourth 1 into 1, 2 into 2 plus 2 into 3. That is 11. Then this fourth column, first 0 get multiplied with 1. So 0. So 1 into 2 and 2 into 3 other get multiply with 0 so 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 is 8 last column this first 0 so whatever the value get multiply it will come 0 then this 1 into 3 and other next samples get multiply with 0 so it is 0 so 1 into 3 that is only 3 so this is your y of n we did the circular convolution but we have obtained the result of linear convolution. How we have added the or padded zeros to the h of n and x of n. How many zeros you have to pad? You have to make the length of h of n and x of n l plus m minus 1. That is the length of linear convolution result. So this is the result of linear convolution by using circular convolution. And this method is matrix method for the circular convolution. Now we will verify our result by our regular linear convolution method. So linear convolution, we will do that. First we will write here one any one sample. So I have written x of n. Now here I will write h of n. So this is here we don't have to adjust the length of h of n and x of n because we are doing linear convolution. But when you are performing linear convolution by circular convolution, at that time you have to adjust the length of h of n and x of n because we want to obtain linear convolution by circular convolution. Now, 1 will get multiplied with this all samples, that is the first row. First row, second and third. So, first row 1 into 1, then 1 into 2, 1 into 2. 1 into 1. Then this 2 will get multiplied with the, all these samples for the second row. 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 1. Again, this 3 will get multiplied with all these samples of x of n. That is the third row. 3 into 1, 3 into 2, 3 into 2, and 3 into 1. So this is multiplication. After that, make this partition so that we can obtain the result of linear convolution. So to obtain this linear convolution, first sample is 1 only. Second sample, 2 plus 2, that is 4. Third sample, 3 plus 4 plus 2, that is 9. 
फोर सैंपल सिक्स प्लस फोर प्लस वन दैट इज इलेवन नेक्स्ट सैंपल सिक्स प्लस टू दैट इज एट एंड लास्ट सैंपल थ्री यू कैन चेक द लेंथ ऑफ दिस लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन इज सिक्स सैंपल्स वेर लेंथ ऑफ एच ऑफ एन इज थ्री एक्स ऑफ एन इज फोर सो थ्री प्लस फोर माइनस वन एल प्लस एम माइनस वन द लेंथ ऑफ वाई ऑफ एन इज सिक्स सैंपल्स एंड यू कैन चेक द सेम सैंपल्स यू गॉट इन दिस लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन वॉट एवर यू गॉट हियर बाय सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वेन वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन बाय यूजिंग सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन बाय मैट्रिक्स मेथड वॉट वी डिड फर्स्ट स्टेप यू हैव टू एडजस्ट द लेंथ ऑफ एच ऑफ एन एंड एक्स ऑफ एन बाय पैडिंग द जीरोज एंड हाउ मच लेंथ एल प्लस एम माइनस वन द लेंथ ऑफ दिस वन प्लस लेंथ ऑफ दिस वन माइनस वन नाउ सेम क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस परफॉर्म लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन यूजिंग सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन यूजिंग डी एफ टी सो हियर वी डिड द सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन बाय मैट्रिक्स मेथड सेम सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन यू कैन डू बाय यूजिंग डी एफ टी सेम मेथड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू एडजस्ट द लेंथ ऑफ एच ऑफ एन एंड एक्स ऑफ एन इट शुड बी एल प्लस एम माइनस वन आफ्टर एडजस्टिंग द लेंथ यू हैव टू परफॉर्म द डी एफ टी ऑफ दिस एच ऑफ एन दैट इज एच ऑफ के डी एफ टी ऑफ दिस एक्स ऑफ एन दैट इज एक्स ऑफ के देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डी एफ टी मल्टीप्लाई द डी एफ टी ऑफ एच ऑफ एन दैट इज एच ऑफ के एंड एक्स ऑफ के एंड आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग वॉट एवर द रिजल्ट टेक द इनवर्स डी एफ टी एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट वाई ऑफ एन दैट इज लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन ऑफ एच ऑफ एन एंड एक्स ऑफ एन सो टू परफॉर्म लीनियर कन्वोल्यूशन यूजिंग सर्क्युलर कन्वोल्यूशन देर आर टू मेथड फर्स्ट वन इज बाय मैट्रिक्स मेथड एंड सेकेंड वन बाय डी एफ टी इन बोथ द केस फर्स्ट यूर टू एडजस्ट द लेंथ ऑफ एच ऑफ एन एंड एक्स ऑफ एन and that length should be l plus m minus 1 and how to adjust the length by padding the number of zeros required so this is linear convolution by using circular convolution thank you